I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. I want to because I want extra dialogue, but I'm always afraid. I don't want this to be rude. Well, let's give it a chance. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Ooh. I mean, honestly, it does make for a hell of a story. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy. Meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. Oh. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Bakarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. Oh, honey. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Thank you, Garrus. I've never noticed before that he only has two fingers. Huh. It would be hard to smooch a Turian. Just not very good for the smooching. Thane's got lips, though. <laughs> oh my god. I'll be this stupid happy if we get Thane back, too. I know it's a little bit, like, too much You're to hope. If you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Garrus? I'll be fine, Leora. Just gathering some thoughts. All right. Oh, I love that we're all friends! Oh my god, I love that we're all friends. I'm so happy. I don't think we have any more upgrades. But we'll get there. Hey, babe. Something on your mind? 
Just old memories. I spent a few weeks on Palavin South Peaks when I was very, very young. A Turian there teased me a little, saying that the mountains went on forever. I remember believing him. When I looked up at Palavin from its moon, I saw those same mountains burning. Oh, her voice actress does such a phenomenal job. It's good to see you. Oh, okay. Oh! Alliance interrogation record. Cerberus operative. The Alliance interrogator. First one. Ugh. Check out these implants she's got jammed into her face. Alliance interrogator, too. Shh. She's awake. Cerberus operative. Unintelligible. Two. Hello? Do you know where you are? Unintelligible. One. You know how much goddamn trouble you're in? Two. Hey, ease up. Listen, you're in trouble. I'm not gonna lie. But that doesn't mean we can't work something out. If you help us, we can... Oh, shit. Oh. Didn't... Oh, did... <sighs> Explosion. First. Ah. Cough. Are you okay? Two. I'm okay, but holy hell, she's dead. First one says, what? Two. The whole front of her face is gone. Some kind of ocular flashbang? First. Well, well, shit. Is everyone in Cerberus rigged up like that? I don't remember who said it. It was either Morden or Thane. Somebody was talking about that. Because the method of, uh, was it cyanide and a cavity filling was too antiquated, if I recall correctly? <sighs> Greetings, Commander. Hi, Cliff. Even though I'm leaving, but thank you anyway. Okay, so we, we did Chakwas. Okay, we've got everybody here. Let's go down to engineering, do our rounds. Oh, wait. His coffee cup's here. I'm gonna never pretend like it's his coffee cup. Maybe he's coming back for it. I doubt Samara's coming back. She better go back to her kids, I swear to fuck. Oh, this is Samara. The other one was Kasumi. I'm getting my shit mixed up. I don't think Kasumi is coming back either. But I like her. It would be nice. Yeah, I might as well. Can't go in there. I keep automatically piloting down here for Jack. Sad. She would have been fun to have around. Oop, this way. Oh, hi. Do you need anything from me? Nothing to report, Commander. Okay. Just making sure. No tally. No jack. So now it's just reporter lady. Allers? I have to ask, do you all war reporters look so... Um... Feminine? I mean, you're made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fandom. <laughs> That's fascinating, actually. I really love that there's science behind that. Uzmek was that? She has got some curves. Oh my god. 
Do we need to talk, Commander? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. I'm sorry, I was just trying to have chat stuff. I apologize. Continue doing your stuff. <laughs> Everyone's objectifying Edie and I'm uncomfortable. Edie even seems kind of uncomfortable. Oh, <gasps> what's the puppy? Gotta pet the puppy first. Rip up. Hey there. <laughs> Alright, Vega, what's up? That Primarch's got some real cojones. What we need are more politicians like him, taking names and kicking ass. Cause he's all out of bubblegum. Hey. At least we get some little one-liners. Now where is Cortez? Is it oh no, that's not Cortez. Neither of you were Cortez. Where's Cortez? Oh, is he over here? Yeah. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Oh, okay. Ma'am. All right. I did get a lot of mods and shit. Not armor. Where are procurement interface? Oh, that's right. Because this one has like 75 million. Yeah, and I have no idea what I like. So there's no use buying anything. And I bought all of those. Or I actually don't have the money for them. I lied. Expensive. Oh, this is the one that has 7 million and 5. Exactly. That's an exact number. This is what I want. Because we got all those new thingies. I feel like you have to take a lot more time in this game looking at the weaponry because it wasn't really a thing last time. Like, we just didn't have as much um, capacity, fire rate. I really care about the fire rate, though, but that does the most damage. Well, that does the most damage, but it's too heavy. It's a chunky boy. The capacity doesn't concern me as much. Let's try that one. Can I modify it? I can't. Pistol piercing, magazine upgrade. Well, that kind of solves the problem, yeah? And then, bam, we did it. I did it. And we're still under our weight thing. So what do I have? I had a heavy pistol and a submachine gun. That was probably the light pews, as opposed to the other pews. The pew pews. This was the pew pew pews. Because that's how I identify weapon, is fire. <laughs> oh, the scimitar is the new boy. Too heavy. Oh. That's a plus 51? Oh, I must have fucked my shit up. Because I thought it was a negative 29. Oh, plus 26. But, but, it goes so much faster if I don't carry a shotgun at all. Look how fast that recharges. Okay, I'm going to try this out for science. I would like lots of damage, though. Please, kind sir. Oh, this is just not a lot of <laughs> So... That one kind of looks the best right now. And no... I was having so much fun with the shotgun, though. Maybe I don't take this one. And take this instead. God, these are so much heavier, though. Uh, I'll probably take this one because it's the lightest. <laughs> can I add more modifications? I can! Cool. We did it. Yep. 
So we'll keep those so our cooldowns are a little faster. Ooh, look at that puppy. All right. <laughs> now we'll go back to doing serious things. <gasps> we haven't... Oh, we'll do that at the end of the episode. We'll do that at the end of the episode. So we need to go back to the CIC. Okay, so we've got lots of shit on our computer, apparently. Oh, actually, didn't she need to talk to us about something? Commander, are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. <laughs> I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. <laughs> the first While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Oh god. Isn't that where the biotic children are? I thought the war would close most schools. Grissom Academy is more specialized than a normal school. It's home to some of the smartest students humanity has to offer. Their Ascension project helps gifted young biotics. If it had been open 20 years ago, I bet you'd have been there. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. Shit. Just surprised they're still open. Oof. Some of their work has Alliance support. That might be why they stayed. Am I gonna have to, like, pick which people to help? And and some people just have to take priority because it's what's gonna help us defeat the Reapers? Oh man, I fucking hate that. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call, so normally I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. What? Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Fucking elusive, Long man. Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. God damn it, Cerberus, calm down. Good catch. Maybe you belong here after all. Of course she does! If this really is Cerberus, hopefully this operation is something worth investigating. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer, good catch. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> Do we have anything else? Commander. Okay, so let's go check our email. Oh, that's quite a bit. Oh, from, <gasps> from Arya? Shepard, I have something important to discuss with you. It's sensitive, so we'll need privacy. I'll arrange for that soon. In the meantime, come see me on the Citadel in the aptly named Purgatory. I have a few ideas for your war. Yes, please. Message from Hackett. Commander, there's an Alliance researcher working on the Citadel named Dr. Garrett Bryson. I need you to meet with him right away. Dr. Bryson has uncovered important new information about Reapers that could have a direct bearing on the war. I'm officially directing you to support his efforts at the first possible opportunity. Please visit Bryson's laboratory in the Citadel at once. Who is this? <gasps> no. No. I'm so excited. <gasps> what have I done in my life to deserve this? The temptation to just, like, abandon ship and just go directly to the Citadel to go get him is over 9,000. Okay, I should actually read his letter first. Is this address valid? Shepard, I've called and I've sent messages, but gotten no response. With Earth's comm system out, I don't expect this will get through, either. But I heard a rumor the Normandy docked here at the Citadel. Are you alive? I'm at Huerta Memorial Hospital under the name Tanner Nuara. Please excuse the moniker and this email's encryption. In my line of work, it is unwise to advertise my location, particularly when I am not. Oh, baby, in good health. We should meet before circumstances force us apart again. Um, yes, please. K. 
Caden. Hey, Shepard. Through some combination of a medical miracle and dumb luck, I survived the beating I took on Mars. The doctors say I'm still not ready to be released, but I'd really like to see you, if you can spare the time. Counselor Urdina offered to make me a specter. Still thinking about whether or not I should accept. Stop by my room at the hospital when you're on the Citadel. I'd like your advice. Yeah, I'd be happy to offer it. Help request from Sender Blocked. Commander, my name is John Bao. I was Special Tactics and Recon. While some still have concerns about your past activities with Cerberus, many of us in STNR took your warnings about the Reapers seriously. I'm reaching out to you because I have information that could tie agents with significant political power to the... To the Reapers? In a good way or a bad way? As in, like, they can help us, or they're indoctrinated and in effectuating these attacks? If you have time to meet me in the Citadel Embassy, I'd appreciate your discreet assistance. So we have tons to do at the Citadel. Oh, hey, Arya, again. I have a proposition for you, Shepard. You don't want to pass it up. I'm in a nightclub in the Citadel called Purgatory. Don't make me wait too long. Oh. Oh, yeah. Are all of these timed? God, I'm so nervous. Oh, no, I don't want that. I'm just clicking on things because I'm anxious. <sighs> There's so much to do. And on all of it's like, I need you to do it now. And Mass Effect has, has ruined me. I don't trust anymore. Like, I know people are going to be like, yeah, I need you to do this ASAP. But, but is the game mechanic really ASAP? I'm like, I'm really overthinking this. All right, I have a nugget. He's very spicy. He just wants to eat dinner. He's got the angry tail. But he's very cute. Oh, did you guys hear him? <laughs> Bye. <sighs> so spicy. Just wants to eat. Okay. Let me actually put my headset on. I couldn't, like, spare a hand to put my headset on because he was just scrambling. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to put chat up for, like, on the screen for a hot second. So I'm going to ask one question. It's the only thing you're allowed to answer. Can I go to the Citadel to see Thane and it won't, like, ruin anything? Oh, yes! That's all I care about. <laughs> I just want to go see Thane. <laughs> yes! I'm going to go see Thane. I'm dumb excited. <laughs> okay. How much? I don't even see how much fuel I've got, honestly. There's tons of shit to do here. I'm so ready, my body is ready. All of it. <laughs> Look, I'm just excited to, to, to have friends and stuff. <laughs> that wasn't even, uh, no, I'm gonna go to the docks. I wanna go see Fane, I don't. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures, finally back in action, the Alliance already wants us tagged and collared. Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes ma'am. Requesting docking permission? <laughs> docking permission <gasps> granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Yes! I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. <gasps> yes, I know your child. 
It's complied in Medi-Cal below, but President Huerta died of a stroke. This is the court. Listen, I am a citizen of Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. We have several aliens whose name changed. He can't remember his own name. No, regular Medi-Cal. Trust me. In this building? Don't you dare hang up on me. This is a medical emergency. We can't wait for evidence. Just say he's alive. Two of them were pointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me. In this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this. Is this just gonna keep going? President Huerta died of a stroke. Okay, bye. <sighs> don't baby, don't punch the glass. Commander Shepard. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane. Good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Keppel Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Oh. I'm back on the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side. And I am not at mine. See, at this point, it's just selfish to ask, right? He clearly needs to be somewhere where he can receive that medical attention. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time, but it is mine. Uh, I hate... <sighs> I hate that he's talking this way. Like, on the one hand, it's good to accept that when it's your reality, to a degree, but it's very hard to hear. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. It's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness, and that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Is that all? Is that all the interaction we get with him? I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Mm. That wasn't what I was expecting. Oh. 
I can't handle characters dying or them talking about it. Oh, let's go talk to Caden. communication system is offline of course if these interfaces make our commandos better on the field I'll hold for as long as we need I'd like an answer major the galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you no more than ever you'll have it soon counselor I promise I look forward to it Shepard. Udina? Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Udina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? It was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just wanna make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listened, too. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but... I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. I'm glad we bought that bottle now. Something else, Shepard? Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. I'd like to move past the harsh words and be friends. At least. So, how do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. And you were standing right in front of me, and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I... I think that's how we get past Horizon. You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. Well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard. To save at least a few lives. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty-tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. 
but my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. <laughs> are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No. Not yet. But I hope... Well, I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Oh. God, those were... Those were both really, really heavy conversations. But they were really well done. Surgery, but when can I get back to the front? You're not. What? You have extensive nerve damage. Once we remove the leg, we can't install a prosthetic for at least five weeks. I told my squad I'd fly back next week. I'm sorry, but that's impossible. All these poor people. So much chat going on that I can't keep up with. I think that's the TV. And then the intercom? Is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Palavin and Earth, the invading force appears to be the same that attacked those planets. Let's go see if this conversation has any extra dialogue. So you went back to the farm. We snuck down to heaven. We were hungry, filthy. They turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And the Iron was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I got within 10 meters of her. I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints and. That's when they all started screaming. What? Oh, thing. Oh, my heart. Okay, I'm gonna read our codex entries in here so we're not bothered by the sounds. Because we had, I think, like five left over from last time that I forgot to get to. So I don't want to forget those. And I don't want you guys to feel like I forget these things. They will come back and I will remember them. So let's do more known associates. It's really good catching up with our friends. Admiral Steve, the Enhanced Defense Intelligence or ED serves as an information source and cyber warfare defense system on the rebuilt Normandy SR-2. The ship's crew can access ED at any terminal or through radio contact. During an attack from a collector vessel, pilot Jeff Joker Moreau gave ED full access to the Normandy systems, allowing the ship to escape. Although ED retains the control that Moreau gave her, she is usually content to advise the organic crew members who fly and maintain the ship. Garrus Vakarian is a noted Turian sharpshooter and combat engineer. He was born on Palavan and became a Citadel security officer like his father, but left the force when Superior shut down his investigation into the rogue specter Saren Arterius. Vakarian eventually discovered that Saren had been indoctrinated by the Reaper known as Sovereign. Vakarian eventually found his way to the criminal haven of Omega and assumed the name Archangel. There, he and a small group of operatives worked to disrupt the settlement's powerful mercenary groups until Shepard recruited him.
The Turian narrowly survived the second Normandy's attack on the collectors. More recently, the Carrion has become the head of a Turian task force focused on preparing for the Reaper invasion. Major Caden Alenko is a human biotic and an officer in the Systems Alliance. He served as staff lieutenant under Commander Shepard on the SSV Normandy during the Battle of the Citadel and now heads the Special Operations Biotics Division at the Alliance Warfare Center. An Alliance tribunal recently called on Alenko to testify about his experience with the Reapers. Alenko suffers from severe headaches because of the early model L2 biotic implants that he was given as a child. The L2 implants have since been discontinued due to the risk of crippling neurological damage. Flight Lieutenant Jeff Joker Moreau is a respected pilot with the Alliance Navy. Born and raised on Arcturus Station, he is widely considered to be the best helmsman in the Systems Alliance. Moreau enlisted with the Navy directly out of school and quickly gained the respect of his superiors. He served as pilot of both the Normandy SR-1 and its successor, the SR-2, and was at their respective helms during the Battle of the Citadel and the assault on the Collectors. Moreau suffers from Vrolich Syndrome, a rare debilitating disorder also known as brittle bone disease. Dr. Karen Chakwas is a trauma surgeon and a major in the Alliance Navy. She served on the SSV Normandy under both Captain Anderson and Commander Shepard, and was aboard the ship when it was destroyed by the Collectors. She later quit the Alliance in order to rejoin Shepard on the Cerberus-built Normandy SR-2. Along with most of the second Normandy's crew, Dr. Chakwas was kidnapped by the Collectors and taken beyond the Omega-4 relay, where Commander Shepard eventually rescued her. After the Alliance impounded the Normandy SR-2, an inquiry found that Dr. Chakwas had no significant role in or provable knowledge of Cerberus's criminal activities. She has since rejoined the Alliance. Oh, yeah, my cat was crying. Sorry. It's wild that um, Chalk West was just allowed to uh, return to the military. I didn't think it worked like that. So it's interesting. Oh, this got way more depressing than I wanted it to. I mean, it's like the end of the world, but. And that's like sad in its entirety. But I care so much. Not more. I guess it hits a lot closer to home. That that Thane is. Very, very sick. Uh, I was so hoping he would get to be on the Normandy with us. Thank you, Raspberry Coke. Yeah, this is really heavy. I am crushed because of our conversation with Thane, but I think they did a very, very good job on the conversation with Kaiden. Kaiden. I think it all worked out and was scripted very well. It was very much like a real conversation. And their interactions were so much more fluid and human. Like it 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 was really, really well done. I I liked it a lot. It was very, very good. Yeah, like you guys always get genuine reactions. And I'm a very emotive person. And normally that's fun and happy and shit. But there are also times where I, I'm trying not to cry on stream. And those aren't as fun. 
because I, uh, I care a lot about our friends. And I am a baby. I, I am a baby when it comes to those things. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna have to go and, eh. I know, right? I'm still like trying to like just vibe and chill. I'm gonna have to go cuddle Nugget after this. Go like watch cute cat videos on the internet. <sighs> My heart. And I saw the true serum. I'm trying to keep an eye out for it. Just making sure. And so you guys know I'm still looking. But I don't think I've seen it pop up yet. I was... <laughs> I was so excited about Thane. My little face. The best part is I always get to see these afterwards because y'all clip those things. All right, I saw a true serum from, it's TCH. There we go. For the sake of comparison, you've spoken about how much you like the Dragon Age series. Were there any comparable moments emotionally? Yes. Um. um I'm not sure I've cried in Dragon Age outright? You! Let the land! Tamlin, is, is that you? Don't come near me! Stay away! Don't look at me! I am sick! We can help you, Tamlin. Don't be afraid. No help! No help for me! The song in my head, it calls to me. He sings to me. I can't stop it! Don't want to hurt you, Lethalon. Please, stop me! Don't ask me to kill you. I can't do that. Then... I must leave you no choice! Always... loved you. I'm so sorry. Um... But there are definitely some heartbreaking moments that I, I don't want to go too ter- Oh... Shit, you're right, Cal. I did cry about Tamlin. I lied. Cal remembers. I cried. It's episode like 64 or 46 in um, my Dragon Age Origin series. I was literally just trying to like, I always record when I'm doing anything in a game just in case something happens. Like even if I'm like doing stuff to catch us up or whatever. Um, I was just trying to get like inventory advantage before I started an episode. And I unknowingly triggered a cutscene where, because I did the Dalish Origins with Mahario. And so Tamlin comes back to the camp as a shriek. And they have this extremely heavy dialogue. And he begs her to kill him. And the playthrough that I did, there's a very discreet little option in there that alludes to the fact that they were involved. And, um, and if you, oh shit. If you manage to press that option when you're having dialogue with him at the very beginning, he begs you to kill him, you you say no, but he says that he always loved you, and I lost my shit. I was crying. I just, like, stared at the screen because he attacks after that because he just can't handle the blight. And 
And I just watched my entire party, like, kill him. And just, it took me a hot second. So, yeah, that that was a really impactful moment in the game. And there are some in Trespasser as well that I don't want to spoil that. Uh, I, in the soulless romance, too, it just eh, fucks me up. And the, the thing bit fucked me up, and I'm upset. I'm not like, I, I mean, I, I wish he could have come with us, but uh, I can't. I can't deal with character death at all, period. I've literally stopped watching animes. I've stopped reading books because my favorite character dies and I just, it's not worth it for me anymore. It's, I mean, and it's, it's different for everybody, right? Some people are, are fine with that thing or they stomach it better, but I'm... I get very attached to characters. So I'm um, I'm not good at all of that. I stopped reading R.A. Salvatore's entire saga when my favorite character died. I was just furious. And like, yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the genuine reactions. I, I those I try to rein in a little bit because I don't I don't want to cry on stream. Like, if it happens, it happens, but I'm trying very much not to. <laughs> so, it is what it is if it happens, but it's not where I want to go. And, like, I stopped watching. I've never finished. It was 64. Okay, yeah, thank you, Cal. It was um, Death Note that I stopped watching. I'm just not here for it. I, I, I love these characters and I care about them and I don't want bad things to happen to them. I will protect them at all costs. Must protect. Yeah. See, Atticus knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Death Note does uh, apparently start to, to suck after that point too. Like, uh, my boyfriend at the time was uh, <laughs> a very much informed as to how I operate in that sense. And he literally sat me down and he was like, okay, hold on, hold on. This is what happens, but I might want to let you know this just in case. And so I was like, yeah, fuck that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, no, nah. I haven't read or watched Darling in the Franks. I mean, I've you you, you can't escape um, the the popular culture aspect of it, at least not in the cosplay community for me. But. Uh, OK, I'm going to stop being sad about Thane. No, no, I didn't because I don't want to spoil which character made me stop reading the R.A. Salvatore series because. Some people may not have read it. So I try. I try not to for that. Uh, okay. I'm I'm gonna go do happy things and and not be sad about Thane. Alright, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night. And I will see you next time. This episode was emotional, people. Good lord. I did not see Tamlin coming.
always loved you. Thanks for watching. Want more? You can check out these videos, or my stream on Twitch, or cosplay on Instagram, or on OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. So much content, so little time.